Welcome back to Diddly Squad Gaming, where today we are in SnowRunner, and after last live stream, we had uh, a bit of an issue getting the old lighthouse task completed. Uh, in fact, we go ahead and look at where we have to go, which is not there. Uh, we have to go here, and uh, yeah, we brought three different trucks, and all three trucks are sleeping on their sides right now. So, it's kind of, it's kind of a truck graveyard over here. So, we're going to try, and we're going to get this task done. Because, well, that's, that's the main focus of mine today, because I am a little disappointed that we didn't get it done in the live stream, but... Hey, you know what? That's that's the way it goes. It's live. <laughs> you can't edit things out. You can't redo things. You just gotta roll with the punches. So, uh, we're taking the Yar 87. Yes, the Yar 87. I don't know why I wanted to say 86. I, I, I love when that happens. When you have things that uh, just want to roll off the tongue, but they're wrong. <laughs> Anyway, so we're taking the ER-87, and hopefully we're going to get this done. I could rescue some of the trucks, but I think we're going to focus on uh, visiting the abandoned lighthouse, getting this task done. Um, worrying about the fact that we... Have I never upgraded the transmission in this thing? We're close enough. Wow, we're on a freeway. Why are we on a freeway? Alright, I don't know why that, uh... Must have been a while ago that we, uh... Set it to that. I think it's because it's faster. And... Yeah, we only have the one tire, so... Uh, do 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 do... Yeah, we're good. Everything else is golden. Uh, you know what? Let's change color. Yeah, let's go to the green. It was an accident, but... It's a happy accident, so... <laughs> and if you know, you know. Alright, let's try this again. Ooh, going through there pretty quick. Alright, let's just throw all-wheel drive on. We'll do it. We'll get it done. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the live streams. Uh, I'm I'm learning. It's obviously my my second one that I've done, and it kind of shows. But I feel I feel like it went pretty well. Uh, I didn't have really any issues with YouTube or anything with lag or or any of that fun stuff. But I am I am actually trying to work out how to uh, hardwire my computer into my router because the computer's in the basement and the router is upstairs in the living room and there's no good way to uh, run a cable from point A to point B so I think I kinda have it figured out there's a cold air return not too far away from the router oh <laughs> of course <laughs> are you kidding me? we have no winch points alright we'll just have to do it this way Anyways, and that gets the job done. Anyways, I'm going to run it through the cold air return. I wish I had a fish tape though. Um, because that would make it a lot easier because it's probably like a 10, nah, probably like 15 foot run. <laughs> and so, oh, why did I go? I'm not sure why I went through that way. Uh, but anyways, it's a good 15 foot run blind running through a, an air duct. And then we have to come out of one of the, the rooms in the basement and then fish it across the hall to the other room. And then probably down another cold air return and then come out the register by my computer. So yeah, yeah. Probably should have uh, thought of a better way to do that. I mean, I could just drill a hole in the ceiling wall in the basement and pop out of there. Probably not ideal, but it would work. 
but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try. I'm gonna I'm gonna go next time I go to the um, hardware store. I'm gonna see how much fishing tapes are. Those are uh, basically long tapes that are made out of a thin, flexible metal, but it's still stiff enough to where you can kind of jam it into to places, and and then you can attach your uh, whatever you're pulling through, your line, your your cable, your whatever. Pull it through, and uh, yeah, be able to run things through tight spaces. So, anyways, this isn't a uh, home improvement channel. This is a snow running channel. So let's do it. Let's keep going. All right. So we got through that difficult. That that for large trucks. That little pass right there. Oh, it's insane how hard it is to get the trucks through there. But then these little tiny trucks, these scouts can just go through it like it's nothing. With a, with a little help, of course, but... And I think, I think definitely going the other direction is harder. And we're about to find out why he kept chain tires on. Because we've got this, we've got this wonderful, wonderful hill. A device, <laughs> and it was a nightmare trying to get my uh, trucks up here without chains. This thing just walks up it like it's nothing. Ah, uh, my gut said to use this truck in the live stream in the first place, and I, I opted not to. I have this, I have this thing where I like to try out different trucks, even though I know certain ones will get the job done. Probably the first time. With no problems. But I like to change things up a little bit and uh... I don't know, I, th I think it gives you a, a... A valid reason. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> Alright, well at least the uh... At least the twin steer is still here. But we are not in range of it, which I'm kind of shocked about. Can I reach it now? Still can't reach it. Let's attach the winch to the front and see if we can. Scoot a little bit closer. There we go. Hey, it worked. <laughs> Alright, come on. Flip over. Flip over. You dirty game. Come on. You would totally dig in and roll over. You gotta be kidding me. I thought for sure that was an easy win. Alright, let's let's try doing it that way. This should, without a doubt, put us back on our wheels. And it does. Alright. This is gonna be the grind. Um, getting through this pass get all the way around the mountain is a heck of a grind. So we are just going to sit back and relax and watch. Because frankly, this is my fourth time going this way and well, yeah, pretty much my fourth time going this way. And I'm pretty sure I've ran out of things to say, so Unless my brain kind of randomly picks a topic to, to talk about, <laughs> there, there's not really a whole lot through here. It's it's rocky, it's it's snowy, and it's slow. And as you can see, the twin steer failed, the uh, tartan failed, and I believe the what's the other vehicle that's over here? I've completely forgotten. The Warthog. Yes, the Warthog. I tried the Warthog, this little guy. I almost made it with it. Oh, it didn't... Oh, it let me start it, but then... Yeah, and there's just... There's nothing around here to winch on. So, yeah. 
Well, we're going to have to switch back to the ARP. So maybe, maybe we can tip the, uh, the Warthog up as we go past it and, uh, probably bring it with us just as a, as a, in case. Uh, it's a backup, right? So that's, that's probably the smart thing to do. But yeah, we gotta go all the way around to the other side. And like I said, this is not a, uh, it's not a fast path. We can get a little bit of help with the trees. We get one that's farther away. Uh, what is it doing? There we go. Ah, I broke it. All right, let's try to squeeze through these rocks. up this way. I wasn't lying when I said this was a slow, grueling grind. I wonder if going low plus would be... Doesn't really seem to be much faster, does it? We just kind of spin our tires more. Hmm. Well... Here I am wishing I had more Halloween candy to eat on while I was waiting. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully while you're watching this, you're, uh, your Halloween candy. More importantly, hopefully you're eating your children's Halloween candy. You gotta, you gotta do your, uh, apparently duties and, uh, not let them eat too much. All right. I miss that. Uh, we used to take our friends' kids out trick-or-treating. And then our friends would stay at home. And, uh, yeah, at the end of the night, the kids would, uh, give us all the candy that they didn't like. And believe it or not, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups was one of those candies. And I'm like, that's one of my favorites. I have, I have, I have way too many favorites. But definitely one of my favorites. Um, who's gonna pull who over? Ooh. Maybe. This this slope is not good for any of us right now. Um yeah, see, it's saying to go down that way. I, that just seems kind of pointless. I feel like I can just sneak through here. I'm going to try to get up the hill and then pull the, uh, the hog over. But we're going to do this without tipping. Very, very important. No, that was like the worst possible spot to attach. Okay, now that we've got it upright, that's the only pull point it's going to give me, isn't it? 
go. Come on, Warthog. Uh, let's change trucks real quick. There we go. We'll get out under our own free will. Our own power. Alright, uh, you're probably guessing what happened and it was uh, some technical difficulty. I accidentally dropped my controller and no way did it hit my keyboard. The cable didn't hit the keyboard, nothing hit the keyboard, but yet somehow my, my screen enlarged to all three screens and I couldn't get it back. So I had to restart the computer and magically fixed it. So uh, anyways, let's get going because we've got uh, we got things to do. All right, so let's crawl through here, hopefully. There, there are absolutely zero winch points through here, too, so. Yep, I figured that was going to happen. Not too surprising. Let's go ahead and... Oh yeah. Probably would help to have all-wheel drive off. Let's get the Tuts, or the Warthog. I guess we'll call it the Hog. It sounds like a cool name. <laughs> Let's get the Hog at least back up on its wheels. Come on. Seriously? Come on. What are you stuck on? No, nope, it just doesn't want to move, does it? Uh, I don't want to roll it. I'm not going to roll it. Go ahead and back up and try to get this thing unstuck. And hopefully not screw ourselves over in the uh, process. Uh, it's, it's like two people trying to, uh, work together and it's not working. I feel like I'm seriously stuck on something. Alright, let's see if we can back up and get it to rotate. No? The, uh, the winch points are not very good on the sides on this truck. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Alright, perfect. Now we can go. Let's... Uh, let's change trucks real quick. Let's get you out of the way. Or at least try to get you off these rocks. There we go. You know what? We'll, we're going to go right up here <laughs> as we crash into everything. There we go. Perfect. You can sit right there. And now let's get this going. Oh, oh, well, you know what? Let's refuel. Uh, that didn't quite work, but that's fine. It's got plenty of fuel in it. Oh, this canyon and the cameras are horrible. Alright, so we've got ourselves a tree. We don't need no stinking tree. And... Ta-da! We finally made it. We finally made it. Uh, well, it looks like I didn't have to waste all that time dealing with uh, the Warthog, but you know what? It's there. It's done. Let's see. What do we need to do for the 
Riddle of Geology. Oh yes, we've got to take... We gotta go on a nice long hike, don't we? Okay. We have fuel here. We have fuel there. We have a little bit of fuel here. So I think I think we're gonna recall this guy. Let's recover back to the base. Let's just go ahead. Let's change the color. Why not? I'm in, I'm in a mood to change colors today. Um, let's go poop brown. Yep, we're going poop brown. And, uh, yeah. You know what? It doesn't look horrible. That's, uh, that's kind of the one thing you don't see uh, very often anymore these days are brown vehicles. Brown used to be pretty popular in the late 80s, early 90s. I remember uh, Chevy had browns, Plymouth had brown, browns or Dodge. Uh, who else had brown? I think, I think everyone had brown. My parents owned, owned the uh, brown Chevette, believe it or not. But that would have been back in the 80s. Yeah, that was a long, long time ago. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, you don't see very many brown vehicles anymore. And for a while there, through the early 2000s to mid-2000s, uh, like from 2000 to 2010, you never saw a black minivan. That was, that blew my mind because I was like, black is like the universal car color that all cars come in, isn't it? Like, I think maybe the Audi... Was it the Audi TT was the only one that didn't come in black? It was like blue, silver, red. And I think that was it. Anyways. Long story short, let's get through here. And I think in this truck we're best to uh, go around all the way. Although, for some reason, this thing was kind of stalling a little bit there. Taking a lot longer than it should have. I almost wonder if I could find a path that goes around this, uh... I guess this snow... snow hole? This little canyon here? And I've also never gone that way. I've never had the need to go that way. And I think, I think I may have to go there eventually, so we're going to try to avoid it as long as possible. Because that route does not look like it's going to be very much fun. Let's just put it in four low. <laughs> And yeah, we'll just we'll crawl through there. Not too bad. As long as we as long as we hit the rocks with the uh, the wheels, we're good. When you try to go over the rocks, it's where this thing just gets eaten up by them. You never you never want to try to go over a rock unless you're uh, certain that you have the clearance. <laughs> Alright, so let's swing in here. Let's pick up our cargo container. One cargo container, and we've got a cargo container. It's definitely not the other stuff, so we got the right one. You gotta be, you gotta be careful. Sometimes they have, uh, sometimes they have cargo containers that are only, the only difference is whether or not the, the pattern on the outside of the cargo container. I did that once where I grabbed, grabbed the wrong container and I drove it all the way over like in this mission and got there and it would not accept it and it took me about 
two or three minutes, I think, of trying to figure out what was going on before I realized that it was the wrong cargo container. And I forgot what the names were. One was cargo container, one was like... I uh, don't even remember what it would have been. It's kind of like when you have uh, vehicle spare parts and spare parts. Like there's just this slight difference. Alright, so this is where this becomes a pain in the butt. Back out so I can see, jeez. Alright, so let's winch ourselves forward enough to where we can get up and over. Now we can use that to get through the rest of the rocks. And yeah, we're through. Just like that. <clears throat> and let's abort. The fact that nobody's come by and cut that tree with a chainsaw is is driving me absolutely nuts. Drives me nuts. I always have a chainsaw with me. That's not necessarily true. I don't always have one, but you guys get the gist. You know what I mean. <laughs> I have one nearby most of the time. And that would just be simple half an hour of Cutting it, clearing it, stacking it, or throwing it in the truck and bringing it with me for firewood. Because what else are you going to do with it, right? Alright, so... Yeah, yeah. Ooh, come on, son. Ah, let's throw it low plus. Get this thing to stop shifting gears. I still wish this game had manual transmission. Oh, that would probably make it so much less frustrating. <laughs> it would definitely speed it up because you would be able, like you, you would be able to downshift when you saw that, you know, mud or water or snow or ice or whatever was coming. But then again, I guess I can just automatically do it anyway, so... Like, there's nothing stopping me from going from 6th gear automatic to four, or to uh, low minus. You know, like... Not like it actually breaks something. Although, ideally it should. That's how you should damage your, your trucks. Not just... Maybe take away the man... or the, uh, the random damage that seems to happen. And I still don't know if it's technically... It technically um, happens randomly, or if it's just something that uh, is programmed in there, or how that works, but it seems to happen all the time when you're on uh, pavement and you're going fast. All of a sudden you'll just take damage for what seems like no apparent reason. But if you go through there again, going fast, you don't take damage. So it's just kind of seems like it's random, but I don't know. I'm not the developer. I haven't, uh, I didn't do any of the designing of the game. But yes, please, having a manual six speed transmission in the game would have been great. Anyways, let's, uh, if, if you guys, and I didn't really say this, did I? But we are going around the long way. And, yeah, we're going to go this way, and then we'll go to here, and then try to figure out where we need to go. Come on, pull on through. So yeah, in the comments, after you hit like and subscribe, because that helps out the channel greatly, uh, let me know, do you guys prefer the live streams? 
Uh, I didn't, I didn't know how I would like them until I did it, and yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's pretty fun. It's, it's more interactive from my point of view. It, it clearly is from your point of view, obviously, but from my point of view, it is a lot more interactive, uh, and I kind of like it. Like, I, I've kind of been debating, I was like, maybe I should go live all the time. But the problem is, like, it, I, I went live on Friday for almost three hours. And that was enough to do all three episodes that I do every week in one go. So I'm like, do I stream more? Or do I put out more content? Because <laughs> I don't know if I could do three hours, three days a week. That's, uh, that's quite a bit. Especially now with the way my schedule is. Uh, but... It does make it more fun, so I can tell you that three hours felt like one hour. So, it's kind of, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, hmm... How do I want to proceed with this? So anyways, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are, and I will take those into consideration when I'm figuring out my plan of, of, of action. lose a gear. We might going up the hill. Nope. Nope, we're good. Yeah, so uh, definitely should have used the R in the last mission. Way, way easier to use that machine versus any of the other ones. We're gonna just, yeah. I gotta remember to not hit that one so hard. It looks like it would just, the, the suspension would just soak it in. But for some reason, it just launches the truck into the air if you hit it full steam. And then you don't take damage until you come down. Yeah, see how, see how easily I went over that? Not too shabby at all. We're starting to lose sunlight, mm, but we're probably about a quarter of a mile away. So it's one of those things, do I want to, you know what, let's keep going, we'll, 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 we'll play in the dark. It, it's been a couple minutes since we've played in the dark, so let's uh, keep that up. I think through here we'll just go uh, low plus and just crawl. This I believe is technically a scout path, but the Mastodon doesn't care. As long as it's not blocked by rocks that are too skinny. <laughs> That's the only time that uh, it can hurt. Come on. Uh, you. Just wanted to make that uh, waypoint disappear. Alright, I think we're good to go back to auto. And this is easy because you just go straight up the middle over all the land. I don't even bother with the, uh, with the water here. And then this is ice, so. And it's solid ice. You don't have to worry about it. Up the hill we go. We're actually we're, we're actually getting good fuel economy right now. Maybe not right now, but 
where we were we will. Alright, let's uh let's pause for a moment. We gotta make it all the way up there. So yeah, we're gonna definitely definitely fuel No, we're not gonna fuel up here. No, we got 114. We've got like 50 some in reserve. I think we're good. Did I? Okay. For some reason I just had a brain fart thinking, did I pack the cargo? Or has it just been sitting in the box the entire time? Which with this sideboard trailer, uh, it probably doesn't matter. It, it probably would have stayed in, even though going over that uh, telephone pole. I think it would have stayed in. Alright, we gotta be careful here because I'm picking up speed and... Speed is always your worst enemy. Oh, oh. Bad driving is the second worst enemy. In my case, it's probably the first worst enemy. Uh-oh. Okay, let's, let's take this corner just a little bit different. A little bit wider. Cut it. Now we can turn the wheels and get closer to the rock face, and then we can get there. If you look at that, not not too shabby at all. Here's that uh, ice patch. It is a straight shot across, so let's just gun it and see what happens. We have chains on, so it should be fine. And we are. And that is why I put chains on this truck. I know it's kind of a forbidden rule. And yes, EJ, I'm, I'm talking about your rule. <laughs> uh, but there's just, there's too much ice. There's too many, too many slopes with ice on them in this, in this map, so. Come on, let's go up the hill, off we go. Alright, now, I think we're stuck. Well, we definitely don't want to go that way. That looks like it will be a absolutely uh, horrible time. We'll just go this way. There's some fuel there which I might grab. Might might get some there. We'll we'll see how long this takes to get through. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking. We don't need to grab the fuel. But, I guess we'll find out. And I know I've been through this, but I don't remember how deep it is. I don't think it's, it's deep for a scout. I don't think it's deep for a scout. Actually, it's, it's not as deep as I, even that. <laughs> I thought the water came up the, the driver's door. But I don't even think that went over the front wheel. Uh, come on, come on, come on, make a turn. Yeah, okay, we're gonna take out one tree. I suppose that's fine. That birch, we're just gonna clear. Oh, it's like I'm a, it's like I know what I'm doing. That was flawless. Yeah, if this was Mortal Kombat, I would have gotten the flawless reward. 
All right, I'm, I'm not even gonna worry about that fuel. We still have 97 gallons. We gotta go up here. That means we gotta go right. But yeah, it, it's, this thing is kind of doing quite well with fuel right now, so I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Honestly, with the speed that we're going and the uh, time available left in the, or in the uh, video, I think we'll be able to start, maybe even finish another task. Maybe. I mean, maybe I just jinx myself and this task is going to take the rest of the episode. But I don't think it will, as long as I'm playing it smart and go go slow around this corner because it's, it's cantered and it's bumpy and I don't want to tip over. Frankly that's what it comes down to. I do not want to tip over. Alright, we do have some larger rocks in the way. It's never fun with this truck. But we're good. And look at that, we're uh, right where we need to be. Kaboom. Oh, I thought I was going to automatically accept it. Oh well. Kaboom. <laughs> we are done with that one and we don't have another task. <gasps> are we out of task with this map? Did we just finish our last task? I think we did, guys. Unless there's one hidden here. Or here. Or here. Which there is a road for some reason that goes... There's a lot of roads on this map that just go absolutely nowhere. But I have a feeling with our contracts that we have... We are going to be... Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot more of the map. Yep. Yep, I was right. All right, well, um, whew, uh, do 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 do. I could take this truck to go see Uma Battery, or I could do Taluma Battery with one of the two trucks that I still have over here, which then could continue to that one. And then we can just leave the garage to do the last one, so... Um... Yeah, let's see. Let's see what this route through here is. If we come this way and down, if it's pretty clear... We could probably get over there pretty quick. And I'm not even worried about fuel. Yeah, like that literally is just a snow path down. So let's go uh, lugeing, or no, bobsledding, and uh, pull a cool running out of our pocket. <laughs> and uh, yeah, where do we want to go? We want to go obviously this way. So let's mark out a rough trail. That one was way far off. We come down this way. Where are we going with this? Oh, I didn't select it. That's why. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this. There we go. Now we know where we're going. Yeah, so it looks like we want to get back on this road somehow. I think cutting through there is probably our best route. We probably won't make it, but we'll see. 
I'll, I'll, I'll try to make it. I think we'll just leave it in auto do this stuff. We, if we stay on the actual road, it should be okay. Little bit of rock, never hurt nobody. Uh, nope, nope, that's right. I knew this looked familiar. Yeah, we gotta go this way. We gotta go around this rock formation. And I suppose we'll just go down this way. And turn into it. Hope that that's enough of an angle. Yes, it was. And because this is the uh, Mastodon, we can just go through all this broken ice. With uh, little to no worry getting stuck. I mean, everyone was complaining about how hard this map was. I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm 100% kidding. This is probably the toughest map, largely by far. Uh, probably the toughest region so far too. So, kind of excited to try the next one that's coming out. Um, and I can't think of the name of it right now. I've never played it like I've never played this region and I look forward to uh, something different yeah like I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kinda getting getting excited to get out of the snow even though it's called snow runner just because well in real life the uh, the snow is coming and we're probably about a month or two away. The cold weather's kind of already been here. Cooler weather, actually. It's not cold by any means. But definitely uh, long pants and hoodies, at least. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of... It's that time of the year where I don't really want to think about snow, but I know it's coming, so... Um, this is a... This, this coast is a nightmare for this truck. Just gotta remember to avoid the big rock. It's actually, it's actually better to be in the snow. Then we're gonna have to make a hard left right now. We still get stuck on something. Come on. There we go. Just a nice, slow, bouncy ride. Everything is going perfectly smooth. It's like if you work in an ER and you're like, it's pretty slow today. It's like a faux pas or a, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, superstition. But the second you say something like that, I think bad is going to happen. Now, I think I want to go more towards the ice this time. Last time I tried cutting through those rocks and it just took a long, long while. The only issue with this is if you're not really paying attention, you could end up in the drink. I'm gonna guess that this is uh that's 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 not very shallow there.
It would be kind of cool for a mod to come out that removes all the water in the game. And then you have to play through the game that way. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to want to just go straight up this hill. Yeah, right about here looks like a pretty good place to come up. And we've got plenty of trees on the far side of the road to get us to winch over the hill because we're probably going to get ice centered. And the icon is to the left, but I think we have to go to the right. Look at that, we didn't even need, we didn't even need it. Um, yeah, it's one of those things, I technically could go to the, to the left, but let's just keep going. We'll follow the road. I know the road gets a little crazy up here. We should be okay. We'll just, we'll take the snow. We'll go around everything. Just slow and steady, right? That that's what Brent wins the race. Slow and steady. Unless you're a rabbit. And then it's fast and uh, quick. No. What is the opposite of slow and steady? Fast and rocky? <laughs> fast and unstable? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Let's try it automatically. It doesn't speed things up a little bit here. There's military base. We'll, we'll stare up at the northern lights and uh, watch the truck climb. That would have made for a good, uh, good thumbnail. Alright, let's see here. Yeah, I didn't really expect that to happen. Okay, so this is definitely where we're supposed to take a lot. So let's fix that. Like, honestly, it would have made more sense to turn back there, but... We should be okay here. Yep, we can fit. We can fit. Come on, get through. There you go. Alright, now the million dollar question is, are we gonna fit through here? <laughs> And the answer is no. We're not going to fit through there. There is no way we're fitting through there. So let's go... Let's go over the rock. Are we? That's a long drop down there. We could either turn left and go down that slope. Or we can attempt to get through this way. But I think we have to go between the rocks there, kind of where the icon is. Right about there. I think we're supposed to go down that. And yeah, my brain is saying we're not going to fit there. So let's go down this way. We 
to go the rock a little bit there, but look at that. Oh, 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 let's not screw the things up yet. I think we're good to walk go on this ice. This is nice and solid. And then we'll turn in here. And then up over that wall. Good thing there's snow there. And the bluey. Oh, there's the ramp that I think we were supposed to take, apparently. <laughs> well, guess what? We didn't go that way. Um. Well, it is close to the end of the episode. Shall we do a little bit of exploring? I probably don't have enough time to really get to another checkpoint. Maybe the Tuluma. That one might be something that we could do or we could just kind of yeah let's let's go exploring I want to see what's this way the nice thing about exploring now is if I screw up or if we roll over or if you know I don't know we run out of gas we uh we just recover we don't really have to worry about anything uh we are Clearing out some of this uh, fog of war, I guess. Ever since Warcraft 2 came out, that was the uh, that was a reference where I got that from. And you know what? I missed that game, Warcraft 2. Like I could, I could play that game. I could play that game still today. I wonder if it's as good as I remember. Probably not. Holy crap, they just littered this area with uh, rocks. Um, I mean, there's a deep, deep channel through here. Doesn't really seem to be... ...traversable. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna try it today. I don't have the, uh, the gall to do it today. Can't do it. Nope. Uh, so. I think. I think we're gonna wrap it up and call this an episode. There wasn't really much to explore over here. You know what? Maybe we'll just go a little bit. Let's see if this truck can even get through here. That would be pretty cool if we found, like, I don't know. I would say an upgrade, but we know we have all the upgrades. At least I think we do. I wish there was something else, some other reward that you could get by, by crawling through here. Like, I... Honestly, if they wanted you through here, they wouldn't have put that in the way. Um, but, like... Even just little stupid things like badges or like what did they do in Need for Speed Underground? There was like spray paint tags that you had to find, right? Or little things like that that they could have added into the game to make you explore into the into these areas that you'll never go into or this area or, you know, possibly if you could get to this side if it was a thing. You know, it would, it would make you explore these black areas that we may never get to go into. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's my two thoughts. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and recover. Hopefully we didn't need the truck out that side way. If we did, then... Oops, I screwed up. Uh, let's see, what... Yeah, so they do have a nice jungle military color. They do have the black and white. Hmm. They also have the brown. Ooh, the desert. That that will save for a, a warmer climate. Um, and then this thing is just like, yeah, let's just throw random colors at it. That are kind of complementary colors, sort of. Kind of. 
Anyways, let's end the episode there. We'll we'll leave the paint job brown. I kind of I kind of enjoy the uh, poop brown. But uh, yeah, we will uh, see you guys in the next episode where we will finish the current task. And actually, I should say contract and uh, move on from there. Bye for now.